So, uh, you know, my wife, she's um, she fabulous. Can be, sorry. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, and I just uh, on a side note, I, I came from that, like John alluded to, I came from that hopeless um, space of dismantling and grieving and um, a marriage. And, and I am like really in, in the best, best. Like I couldn't have painted this picture any better. And here's the problem. Um, <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. I gotta fuck it up somehow. So I have two step kids, and um, and so we have three kids in the house. And uh, my wife ha has uh, she has a great capacity. She loves to be in her feminine, and she has a very strong masculine as well. So when she's um, and with the kids, she gets exhausted. So she gets like she gets go 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 go. She gets exhausted, and um, since I feel like it's kind of hallowed territory as far as I'm still like working on parenting them and how much is too much and not you know I'm still feeling that space. Um, when she gets revving, when she gets revved up like that, right. sometimes she'll shoot a, like you know and turn you. She'll just like yeah. she'll hit me, and then yeah. I don't really. I don't take that from, you know, I, you know, I don't go to tussle. Yeah. Yeah. So, A, I don't know how to help her with, yeah. uh, you know, when we get, you know, when the kids are in bed, I try to create space for her right. and hold it so she can relax and all that. Right. But, right. Um, so you get butt hurt? Well, I get, I, no, my, my guy comes out. Like, uh, yeah, shot, but, yeah. Yeah, but that's the result of butt hurt. Butt hurt, yeah. yeah butt hurt, hurt and then guy comes yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and then it gets like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so look, we all get butt hurt, right? Basically just means, you know, our feelings are hurt. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings, right? Butt hurt. Yeah, you hurt my feelings, right? And, and it's a private joke in my relationship, but right, you know, but uh, you cannot tussle, you know, while you're butt hurt. No, you cannot. Got, and that's a, but I feel a blog coming out of that one, right? You cannot tussle while you're butthurt. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you either acknowledge the fact that you're hurt, your feelings are hurt. Uh -huh. So she goes, Psh. ouch. Ouch. Ouch is like a magic potion. Like, oh. Ouch without collapse. Like, totally. Yeah. Like, ouch with, oh. OK, baby. Do you need my help? Anything I can, right, right? Yeah, and then she, then she gives another one. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, okay, baby. Should I get out of the room? <laughs> or do you want my help, right? I mean, yeah. it's your art. You know, part of the reason why I'm putting you into all these interesting sort of performance art kind of practices is so you can develop the capacity to actually bring it into those moments. She does blank, and then you, <clears throat> you know, play with it. Like, make fun of it. Uh, have, you know, own your shit, which is that hurt my feelings, right? Yeah. I think what I do is I go in, I, I either go into, I'm sorry. I think I'll either, before today, I would go into either like, ouch, withdraw, and then somehow my guy would come out or yeah. punish. Yeah. Uh, or, um, or I would get, yeah, and then I would get confrontational. Yeah. yeah. How about this? How about lean into her breaking your heart? Yeah. How about lean into it like, ouch, <laughs> right? Or just like, ouch, right? Like, oh. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, baby. Right? And just, but there's no like, so literally leaning in to her hurting you. That doesn't mean you have to take it all the time. Like, you're kind of letting her know, fuck, like, why are you being, why are you hurting me? I love you. You know? Don't hurt the man. Like, oh, baby, don't stab the man that loves you. You don't have to take it, and you don't have to explode on her. There's this middle ground of artistic practice of staying heart open 
and revealing your truth. Like your truth is, that hurts my feelings when you're sharp like that. I mean, right? But you can do it if you said to her, oh, that hurts my feelings. And when you do that, and she's probably not going to want to fuck you. However, if you say, like if you stay open and you really like keep your heart open and start to play with her, even if it's just very tenderly, I don't know. You, you have to see how she responds to it. Most women respond pretty well. Mm-hmm. And if, if, the, if it continues, like let's say you do that a few times, yeah. you've got to have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. No, then, then you say, look, baby, you're obviously like, I've tried my best to help you with this mood. I'm not a punching bag. You know, let me know. I'm going to do this. For, I'm going to go be by myself for an hour, or I'm going to sleep in the spare room tonight, and we'll talk about this tomorrow. So you try. And then you give her what the, what's happening next. You are clearly delineating what is happening next. I tried to open you. I gave you my best shot. You're still closed. I'm not going to be your punching bag here. Yeah, I'm not punishing you. I'm not punishing you. I love you. Uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow. But tonight, you know, I've kind of given you everything I can. So I'm going to go sleep in the guest room. All right? And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Get the difference there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's... it's it's really hard to lead with that kind of meticulousness. Really hard. Really hard. You've got to be emotionally aware. You've got to be aware of time and space. You've got to be feeling your heart, her heart, <laughs> constantly checking in with, all right, what's the best move? What's the best move? It's not easy. It's fucking hard. Yeah. 